In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate S2 member with WP Courseware. Okay, so let's begin. If we go over to the plugins area, you'll notice that I've got S2 member framework. I've also got WP Courseware and I've also got WP Courseware S2 member add-on installed. Okay, these are the three plugins uh, that are required to make uh, this a fully automated learning management system. Okay, so what I want to do now is go down to S2 member and we're gonna go into general options. Now when you install S2 member automatically you get four membership levels, okay? Um, actually five membership levels including level zero which is actually for free subscribers so but you have level one two three and four that's this is by default you can add um, more membership levels uh, but this is just the default so I've left this as default and so now what I want to do is go up to training courses and you'll notice I've got four training courses already created so I've now got the two key components uh, that it takes to integrate these two plugins I've got membership levels and I've also got courses. Okay, so now we want to we want to integrate the two. Okay, so to do so, we're going to go down to training courses S2 member, and this option here is actually enabled when you install the S2 member add-on for WP Courseware. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, and you'll notice here we've got several columns of information here. On column one and two, these are the uh, the actual levels with the label name. This is actually the label name for the level. And we've got uh, in the third column here, we've got the courses that are available to be associated with the membership level. And you'll notice some of these courses have green check marks and are in green text. That means that, for instance, in this in this uh, row here, course A is associated with the bronze member, which is uh, membership level one. Okay, so we, what we want to do is we want to take a look at how we actually assign a course to a level. And to do so, we're going to click Edit Course Access Settings. So we'll go ahead and pop in there. And you'll notice I've got a list of courses available to be assigned to the membership level. So you can select multiple courses or just a single course, and you can click Save Changes. Okay, now you'll notice there is a second option here. Uh, the retroactive assignment for courses to current customers. This option here we're, we're going to cover a little bit later in this video. So for now, um, what we want to understand here is just that you can assign a course to a membership level. And we, if we click Save Changes, save, Changes are saved. And you'll notice we've got uh, three levels and three courses assigned, one, each to, one to each level. Okay, so now the next step would be to actually test this functionality. We want to see if when a user purchases a membership level, they are automatically enrolled into the course. So to do so, I'm going to open up a separate browser. And I've got my uh, form here. By the way, this is uh, S2 member PayPal Pro Forms, which is installed when you uh, have the S2 member Pro version installed. So uh, this, is, this is not with the base level of S2 member. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type in first name, last name, and an email address, username. Okay, so now I'm going to check out with PayPal. I do have the uh, PayPal sandbox already set up, pre-configured, so we're going to go ahead and check out using that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and log into our sandbox account for PayPal, and I'll type in my password. and we'll complete our transaction. Okay, so our transaction has been completed. And so now, uh, if we go back over to our other browser, uh, I'm actually gonna go into the users area and we should have a new user named Jim and he should be assigned to course A since he purchased level one. And so we've got Jim and he is enrolled into course A, uh, which means he purchased um, membership level one. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go back to the, uh, the option that we skipped a bit earlier in the video. I want to explain that in further detail. Um, but before we go there, I want to point something out. Um, you'll notice I've got another user, Bob, um, who also is a member of level one and is also assigned course A. So we have basically two customers 
who have purchased membership level one and have been assigned course eight. So go ahead and tuck that in the back of your mind and we're gonna go over to training courses as two member and we're gonna go and edit membership level one. Okay, so now uh, what we wanna do is take a look at this second option. So basically what we want to do is we, we want to assign another course to this membership level. So for example, if we just created a brand new course um, called Course B, and we wanted all of our past customers to get enrolled into Course B by assigning it to this membership level, then we would select this option. So I'm gonna go and select yes, Course B and Course A. So now anybody who's purchased bronze member level, or which, which is also known as uh, level one, um, they're also going to be enrolled into Course B. So we're gonna go ahead and click Save Changes. And let's go back over to Users. And you'll notice now, both Bob and Jim, because they are a member of Level 1, they both were enrolled into Course A and to Course B. Okay, and that completes this video tutorial on how to integrate S2 member with WP Courseware. Thanks for watching.